Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today, when I was at the sheets, I found this truly extra hard seltzer. It is 8% as opposed to the traditional 5% Trulies. So I decided to pick it up and give it a try. It's called Berry Blast. I'm just going to turn the can a little bit. It has, whoa, I didn't realize that. It has 220 calories. Uh, four carbs, one gram of sugar. Contains water, alcohol, natural flavors, contains less than 2% of citric acid, cane sugar, blueberry, blackberry, raspberry, juice concentrates, sodium citrate, stevia sweetener, carrot, and blueberry juice colors. Very interesting. And it's uh, produced by the Hard Beverage Company, LLC, an affiliate of the Boston Beer Company, Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, it does have the Truly brand on it, and it says on the top of less than 1% juice. So, let's crack into this and see what it tastes like. That Truly is before, but I haven't had this one. So, let's give it a pour. Let's see what the color and everything is in there. Okay, so... I did the pink lighting because of the pink on the top of the can, but let's change the lighting to white so we can see that it is a pink drink. Pink drink. It kind of smells like a regular Truly. Um, my wife said it smelled like medicine, but I don't think it smells like medicine at all, honestly. Uh, let's give it a taste. I actually think there's a little bit more flavor here than a regular Truly. It is pretty sweet. I definitely get the tones of the, the blackberry and the strawberry more so than the blueberry. Maybe that's just my taste bud. It's pretty solid. I do like the flavor. It's not an overpowering flavor. Um, it's not like a mixed bag. And it's... Uh, I still like it better than White Claw. I know I rip on White Claws a lot on this channel, but uh, it's a pretty solid pickup, and I do like the fact that it's 8%. I do believe it was like 2 bucks or 3 bucks, 2 something for a can. I don't know. The prices keep going up on everything. Hard for me to keep track, but for the value of 8%, I picked it up. It's 3% uh, more alcohol, like one more carb. Not really a big deal, one more carb. Ton of calories though, I didn't realize that when I grabbed it. We're just looking at the carbs. Low Ross is pretty good. I didn't see this in a multi pack or anything, this was just a single can. Uh, and, you know, one of the racks outside the cooler section. So I picked up two of them. Figured I'd try them out and let you know. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day. Appreciate you guys for stopping by. I actually like the flavor. Kind of, kind of unrelatable to anything, and they're using real fruit juices, which is nice, instead of just artificial sweeteners. So it's always nice when they're using real fruit, even if it's just a small one percent or something. That's still better for me than them using a bunch of artificial sweeteners. Excuse me, it just uh, tastes very, it tastes like very natural. Let's put it that way. Doesn't taste I like the medicine. This but I always said it doesn't taste anything like medicine. I was like, it's uh, a pretty good flavor to it. I I could drink these. I could throw these back, especially on a hot summer day. It's still winter time here. Currently thirty three degrees. We had a string of uh, sixty for like two days, and then uh, now we're back down here in the thirties. So. We'll see when spring finally decides to hit here. Let me know if you guys have seen these out anywhere. I don't know if these are new or if they're just new to me or new to the store, but I haven't seen them before, so I'd grab them, a couple. I do think it has a solid flavor. It definitely tastes like berries. Not too much more I can say about this, so I don't want to 
make this too long of a video. So let's just finish this up and give it a final review. All right, for the alcohol content, I gotta give it an A. For the price, uh, a B plus. Flavor, probably a B plus. I'll go ahead and give this an overall rating of like uh, an 8.6 or something on a scale of one to 10. I think it's a pretty solid drink. I don't think there's too much that could have been done better. I uh, could have a little bit more of the berry to it, uh, maybe up that to 2% juice, but that's just a small nitpick here. I do like the fact that it's higher alcohol content. The other thing I forgot to mention is the size of the can is a 16 ounce can. So it's not a traditional 12 ounce can, but it's not quite a tall boy. Kind of right there in the middle there for you. About the same size as a Mike's. Uh, if you pick up one of those cans. But I uh, appreciate you guys for stopping by. That's my review of Truly Extra Hard Seltzer Berry Glass. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Until next time. Cheers.